So I wanted to go over uh, checking locked rotor amps with you guys. Uh, if anyone has any issues doing this, there's a few little tricks to it. Uh, just because of the nature of it. It happens very fast. Um, when you do this, I recommend that you get set up prior and you create the call for cooling and let the contactor pull in like normal. Um, you trying to push the disconnect in or push the contactor in does change your locked rotor amps sometimes because you're not as fast as the uh, electricity. So if you want a real-time number, I recommend doing it here uh, this way. You want a meter that will actually pick up locked rotor amps. Now you guys have uh, been picked on through the years, but it does have a locked rotor amp in rush. I got a true RMS. This is a pretty good meter. Um, it's always been fairly accurate. This is great if you have uh, lights dimming in the house or compressors uh, going out on overload, locking up, and you want to check these. Um, obviously, we want to look up in our little um, box over here. We we'll see what we should be looking at. 58.3 locked rotor amps. Um, if that number <clears throat> is three digits, you expect it to come in three digits, I'd change your range on your amps for the UEI. Uh, every meter is probably a little different, but I got two decimals there, so if I go over, that way if I'm over 100, it'll actually pick it up. A locked rotor amp inrush on this meter is right here. I press and hold it, and I'll see inrush on the screen. This is a lot quicker than what, if you try to pick max and min, you will not pick up your amps quick enough in standard max mode so i'm just going to want to get over the compressor i'm not worried about hitting everything else you know so i'm going to go in and create a call for cooling my testos are hooked up we're ready to go and um we'll continue this as soon as i walk back okay we're back after setting up the lock rotor in rush on this and uh, you know i like to peek at my refrigerant numbers right away it's one of the biggest things i'm looking for when i'm out here so 64.6 inrush. Um, it is a little higher than what it's rated for, so this would be a good opportunity um, to recommend maybe a hard start or a start assist to be able to drop that down a little bit, help this thing start up a little bit quicker. Um, I'm not that much higher and I've got no complaints about lights dimming, any problems like that. I'm not seeing any other issues. So in this particular case, um, I, I'm, I'm going to mention it in the report, but I'm not going to be too picky about it. But this is uh, how you can truly check your locked rotor inrush amps. Obviously, you're seeing that's not current because it records the inrush of it coming in. So uh, you can get a pretty good reading that way, and uh, you'll be able to pick up a lot of problems happening, like torque locks, overloads, blown capacitors, breakers tripping, lights dimming, etc. There you go.